Will the narcissist have a good future without you? When the narcissist leaves you, they make it look like they are riding off into the sunset. They make it look like they have so much to look forward to without you. And many of you who have suffered at the narcissist's hands become very emotional. You find it difficult to think logically as an effect of everything that you have been through. The narcissist plays on this. They use the effects of the abuse to confuse you even more. To manipulate you. When the narcissist targeted you, they gave you a false impression. They made you believe that they were these happy, carefree people. Who had so much going on in their lives. But as you got to know them, you began to realize that this isn't true. They are very angry, resentful people. They get stressed out very easily. And when they leave you, that doesn't just go away. They believe that they are perfect. They don't see anything wrong with themselves. So they have no desire to change anything. Instead they just blame everyone else. And that is how no matter what situation they move on to, they're never happy, they're never satisfied. They're always miserable. They're always mad about something. They're so full of fear, shame and insecurity that they cannot be happy even if they tried. They will always be miserable and they will always take it out on other people instead of fixing themselves. They manipulated you in the beginning and when they leave you, they're just manipulating you again just as they did when they first targeted you. They're still the same angry, miserable people that they were when they were with you. They're just giving you a false impression again. They're trying to make you believe something that is not true. It's an orchestration. They know how to plan and coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect within you. They know how to trick you. Because they've tricked many people before you. And people have also tricked them. But the truth is that it's all a lie. Their false sense of happiness comes from attention, admiration and validation. But they cannot attend to themselves. They cannot validate themselves. Well, that's what real happiness is. It comes from within. They want you to think that they've just done all of these horrible things to you and now they're evading the consequences of their actions. Now they're riding off into the sunset. When it's just not true. It's just another one of their illusions. The narcissist was miserable long before they met you. They don't even know what it's like to be happy. But they know that you do. And that's what made them so envious and mad. That's what made them want to take it from you. They try to manipulate your emotions in an attempt to hurt you. Because that's what gives them supply. It helps them to believe their own lies. Because all they really want to do is live in a dream world anyway. 
they already know that they can't be anything for real. So they lie to you. And they lie to themselves. But it never amounts to anything. They only keep people around them who are willing to entertain the illusion. Once you start to figure things out. They won't want anything to do with you. But that is actually a good thing. If a narcissist wants nothing to do with you, you should be celebrating. That should be what you want. It means you're on the right track. It means you're healing. You're becoming more aware of what you were dealing with. Because that is when a narcissist is going to want nothing to do with you. But when they finally move on, they do not have a good future without you. No matter how it looks on the outside, it doesn't matter. You can have all of the money, power and success in the world, but what does it matter if you can't really feel it? They lack emotional depth, they're full of fear, shame and insecurity, so they can never really feel happy. And that is why they're so mad. That is why they want to destroy your happiness. Because with you it comes from within. They may try to present this image. As though they're so much happier without you. But it isn't real. People often mistake a lack of empathy for happiness. Just because they don't care about you. Just because they don't appear to feel anything. That doesn't mean they're happy. A person who is self-absorbed and lacks empathy will never be happy. The fact that they are so egocentrical and self-centered while showing contempt for you reveals that they have a big gaping wound and that is why they are unable to share your experience. That is why they treated you in that way. How a person treats you is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. So if they try to hurt or upset you, it's because they're hurt and upset. If they try to disrespect you, it's because they feel like they're not worthy of respect. If they treat you like you're worthless or beneath their consideration, that's because that's exactly how they feel. So if you want to know if a person is really having a good future without you, remember how they treated you. Remember whether or not they held themselves accountable for their actions. Remember if they took the steps to change and look at what they're doing now. What they're saying to people about you. Every negative thing the narcissist involves you in reveals exactly how they feel about their lives. It reveals everything you need to know. Their behaviours will tell you everything. If you are dealing with someone who is highly narcissistic, they will not have a good future without you. They will never find peace or happiness. They will always be miserable. They will always be angry and resentful and they will always try to bring people down rather than building them up. Their feelings about themselves affect how they treat people and their feelings about themselves are not going to change. Which is why if the narcissist discarded you, you need to see that as a good thing. 
you're never going to find peace or happiness around a manipulative, vindictive person. Because the reason why they're doing that is because they cannot find any happiness within themselves. And they want to stamp out anything that reflects back to them just how miserable and dissatisfied they are with their lives. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.